Okay, good morning guys. We are going to try 12, 3, 30 for this upcoming week. I just was like, I'm so curious about this because I never did it when it became that huge like craze. So I was like, I don't know, I want to give it a try last week and I was just floored by it. I was like, oof, I, I, get, I get why you girls are like dropping it like it's hot after 12, 3, 12, 12 3, 30. So I figured we're gonna give it a week and see if I feel like there's any difference to doing it for a week. I'm like a little bit of a plateau, so I wanna see if this will help shake it up. So we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna set it for 12 incline, walk at three speed for 30 minutes, and we're gonna see how we feel. When I started this, I was feeling really good. I'm like, okay, maybe this is as easy as influencers say it is, but that was only for a literal minute before I was winded beyond belief. I then took it down to two speed and I just kind of maintained at that. I never changed the incline once this day. I just kind of was alternating between going between one and two speed. We are 15 minutes in. This is horrible. I can't. I'm at one. I'm at one speed right now. I'm trying to push it up to two. But, man, this is not fun. I did give 3 speed another chance, but this was actually worse than last time. I didn't even complete a full minute. My big issue was that I was starting to get some bad pains in my hips and my knees were starting to get really sore, but all I know was I was happy when it was over. Sitting here trying to enjoy a little game of Fortnite, you may hear the music. I just remembered I have to do 12, 3, 30 again tomorrow. Mm, is really bad. Yeah. No breakfast, no lunch, serve tomorrow at school. Thank you, ring camera. <laughs> oh. All right, I gotta go. Okay, so remember how in the last clip when you saw me, I said I did not want to go down tomorrow and do that? Guess what I did, and it's Wednesday now. I ended up taking a rest day just because I felt like I needed it. And I was originally planning to do weights for 12, 3, 30, but I'm not gonna do that this week. This is a pain in my shoulder. I'm like, you know what? But since I am doing this, I'm gonna give myself the week off from doing any kind of weights so that it's really just 12 through 30. But different compared to yesterday or two days ago, 12 through 30, I'm gonna give myself like two to five minutes of just walking, no incline, oh, hello, of no incline, just to kind of get my legs going because last time I just jumped right in and did 12 through 30. And I don't know if that like, I don't know, I think maybe that's what got me so winded. I also couldn't breathe out my nose that day, so we'll see. So we're just gonna walk for five minutes. Basically we're doing 12, actually we're doing zero, whatever speed gets me warmed up, five, and then 12, 30, 30. So we're doing 35 minutes basically. I'll check in once we start. All right, my five minutes are gone up. I already know this is not gonna be fun. We are halfway. This is horrible. I've not been able to really walk the three speed. I just did it for like maybe a minute. For the rest of the half, I'm gonna try to go slow and then when the songs pick up, I'm gonna try to bring it up to the three, bring it back down. This is so much harder than I actually thought it was going to be. At this point, I think the only thing getting me through this was the fact that I was disassociating and I had no clue where I was, what I was doing. All I knew was that I had to keep walking so I didn't fall. So exhausted, I'm like stripped in sweat. <sighs> this, I don't know. I don't know what that. <sighs> I, I don't know how to avoid doing that. That is so hard. And all I can think about right now is like, I'm supposed to do like, shower this foot off and just sit and go work on stuff because, oh my God, it's so, it's so, it's so hard. And like, I'm understanding why people are like, oh my God, you have to like do hill sprints and things like this. like when people like to say they're training for marathons or things like that because this is like a 30 minutes of just straight climbing a hill. I, yeah, no. All right. I, I gotta put this on, I can't. I will say after doing today's walk, like I'm having pain in like right under my kneecap, which is kind of like where the doctor was like, oh, that's where you have patella something something runner's knee or whatever it's called in the right knee i'm gonna assume i probably have it in my left leg it just wasn't as bad 
but it's killing me today and like the back of my leg is really killing me and the only thing different that I've done is this 12 3 30 which isn't even 12 3 30 it's like 12 1 30 my back kind of hurts but like I would like if I did this last week I would have been like oh time of the month no mm -mm. I'm not on that anymore so I don't know what this pain is but it hurts okay today we're gonna try going up in the incline in slower increments so we'll do like three six and then hopefully three six nine twelve that's the plan so we will see how that goes i'm just gonna walk for the first few minutes no incline I felt really good at the three incline. I was able to do the three speed and not feel like I have to hold on. Even at six, I was still feeling really comfortable. Feels like it's going faster today. I don't know if that's because I broke it up into like five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. But, oh God, I already feel it. Lord. I honestly thought this plan was really gonna work until I hit that nine incline because that was basically like doing 12. So when I hit 12, I was basically exhausted. I didn't get on the show with my hair standing up like this. This is something 12 3, 30 did to me. This by far has to be the worst idea I'm having for a video. Like, I don't think I can come up with like a more challenging video idea because like this sucks, man. Everything hurts. Feet hurt, legs hurt, arms hurt. Something hurts. Like I can't even like I can't even think right now. Like my brain is just. And I had a dream. I guess it was kind of a nightmare that our our <laughs> the guy one of the treadmills. That was one of the dreams I had last night. That they only had one treadmill. <sighs> so that was fun. Did you hear that? They have cameras. Did you guys hear that? I had a dream that was one of the treadmills. It was a nightmare actually. I also have like a pain in my left heel right now, which is like not fun. I just can't wait to go sit down. <laughs> All right, so we are gonna do something a little bit different than 12, 3, 30 today. We are going to walk for, whoop. So we're gonna do 30 minutes in the treadmill instead of doing 12, 3, 30 because that is how, but I have my new shoes on. I feel heavy. So we'll see shoes now, sorry, you're proud. Oh, okay. Not so a great start with the 0, 3, 30 because it's only been like 15 minutes and I have to stop because I have new shoes on and they're chafing on the back of my ankle right now, so. No, not looking good. Trying 12, 3, 30 again, but not 12, 3, 30. We're doing my own 3, 30-ish thing. We're trying this again because one, I have a new haircut. Two, I got new shoes. So we're trying it one more time this week and we're gonna compare what we think. Let's, sh let's just get going here though. We got. I gotta put the fan on. 71, you crazy. I've recently been including jogging, running, sprinting, whatever you wanna call it into my walks. And let me say, those are so much less painful than doing 12, 3, 30, is I even get a side splint this day from the running, and I would rather have that happen than have to do the 12, 3, 30 again, because this is soreness that I'm experiencing. 12, 3, 30 is pain. I have not walked in two days because, what? I can feel you creeping over, what do you want? <laughs> It's been 10 long days since I've yeah, seen the okay. treadmill. My knees hurt and the only reason I'm going downstairs right now is why? Because the neighbors' kids are swimming and I, I'd rather walk on painful knees than hear that. That's the fact. I was feeling a little warm right now and then I look at the thermostat right here. I'm to read it while I walk. I'm not stopping. 68. They took it from 72 to 68. God bless them. It's still kind of hot in here though, but you know what? I will take 68. Thank you. Okay, first mile down, 18 minutes. There's just been people coming and going through this gym. One guy who we think is actually a germaphobe. So welcome fellow germaphobe. He used the light to like leave the door and everything. He had a mask on, which is like, oh my gosh, amazing. And then a couple, but one mile down, I only gotta do one more. I'm exhausted, my back hurts, my everything hurts right now. But I'm just remembering if I go upstairs, screaming children. But I will have to go back upstairs soon. But I don't want to. I'd rather walk on here until the treadmill shuts off. All right, two miles done. Completed them in 35 minutes and 17 seconds. Could that be the fastest? I'm gonna have to fact check myself here. I don't know. But let me just say, I'm exhausted. I look like the treadmill punched me down and skid my face while it ran on 12 speed. I look roughed up. Would I rather still keep walking and not have to go upstairs and hear children scream? Yes, but am 
I'm very, very hungry, very hungry. Me very hungry, what am I, a caveman? But am I very hungry? Yes. So, dinner time. And my hair is like, it's like coming out of every angle and aspect and I just, I gotta go upstairs. So I got a 5K tomorrow, I don't wanna do that. I said originally yesterday I was supposed to be doing a 5K. I'm not doing that today. Cause I realized I gotta come down. So I was supposed to do a 5K today. Obviously I'm not doing that. I'm gonna do two miles because I have to come down Saturday and Sunday because I missed Tuesday and Wednesday. So I'm gonna do the 5K tomorrow, not today. But well, I'd rather do less today. Also because if there's some issue to have, I have it right now. My shoes, they hurt so bad. My ankles, the back of the heel thing, feels it's like hooked into the back of my heel and it hurts real bad. My socks feel too tight. I have to pee, but I don't have to pee. So we're just gonna get this two miles in. Well, she has to go up at a certain time because it's, it's actually morning. We're actually down here in the morning, but. We're actually in the morning. Yep. One out of five days, we made it, y'all. So, when she has to go up, that's when I'll go up. But we're already down to a late start because, I don't know. I gotta go, because I gotta go put this fan on, but I'll check in at mile one. Okay, first mile done, 1850 something. It hurts, my heels are on fire right now. Literally, they feel like someone got a little mini race car, they shrunk it down, and they did a bunch of donuts on the back of my heels, and they're on fire. Oh! Like I did say, my shoes were bothering me a little bit this day. My main issue actually ended up being that I kept getting this sharp, like almost like a twig snapping in the back of my left knee, which luckily I have not felt since I filmed that clip. So we're just gonna pray it never comes back because it was uncomfortable. So after the mess that transpires, you probably already know the answer to the question I'm gonna ask. Is 12, 3.30 really worth it? Simply, no. I'm sure for some people it is great and I'm sure for some other people it's obviously not great like me. Starting the 12, 3.30, I started out with having just like discomfort that I usually have in my right knee and by the end of it, I left with pain in both my knees and this video looks like it's actually filmed completely in a week but I actually took maybe almost two or more weeks to film this because what kept happening was my knees would be in really bad pain from doing the 12, 3.30 and by the time they had finally finished recovering, I had then got new shoes that I had to break in. So it was kind of like this whole little bit of a mess that I had to deal with. Just like everything, this kind of depends on the type of person who's going to be doing the workout because for example, people who maybe like the Stairmaster, I think would like this or people who just want something simple that they go on the treadmill, they set everything, and then in 30 minutes they can get up and be like, I'm done, then this is for you. This is definitely not for people who don't like stair masters or just I maybe have bad knees because I think that really is the big issue with me for this is if I didn't have bad knees, I think it would be okay. One other thing that I really didn't like about it was that I felt like I could never find my balance. I always felt like I was going too far forward in it. So then I'd hunch over and my back would start to hurt because now I'm like hunching or I'd start like leaning back. Then I get the fear that I'm gonna tumble off the treadmill and behind me on the treadmill is like an empty rack for dumbbells. And I always have that fear no matter what I'm doing, 12, 3, 30 or not, that I'm going to fall off the treadmill one day and bash my skull into that. So <laughs> that was another issue that I did have with doing this. Basically what I'm trying to say is don't really expect to ever see me do this again not even if i'm at my goal weight will i probably give this another try just because uh -uh. Mm -mm -mm. no way i do hope you guys enjoyed watching me try 12 through 30 i mean here's my thing i know i didn't do 12 through 30 i did like parts of 12 parts of 3 and parts of 30 in the end i'm gonna stick with my normal getting up every morning and just walking running jogging whatever it may be because i am in so much less pain doing that compared to doing this if you have tried 12 3 30 let me know down below because you know if we're going off of influencers they all make it seem like it's the easiest thing in the world where obviously for me it was not so let me know what your thoughts are down below but that's all for this week i hope you guys did enjoy and i will see you next week for a brand new video till then roll the outro cradling these like i'm a mother of two <laughs>